In this part 5 and last movie of the CAD series, you'll take a look at how to alter the basic walk from the CAD motion layer. Select the base triangular node and in the motion panel add a CAD motion layer. Enable animation mode. At this time the character walks but the dynamics of this walk are ill suited for a superhero. To edit the walk, click the CAD motion editor button. A modeless dialog appears. The left pane in the dialog lists the bone structure of the character. If the rig was based on a centipede, there would be quite a few more entries in this list. Changes that you apply can be seen in real time. This means you can play back the animation as you make changes in the dialog. For example, you start by adjusting the head so it doesn't sway that much. Expand the head group and select the head twist. Drag down the scale value to about 20%. Do the same with the head roll value. This is better, but more adjustment is needed. Expand the rib cage and adjust the twist and roll scales to about 30%. Also, adjust the chest offset pause in Y to about 10 units to move the chest forward a little bit. At the pelvis level, adjust the twist and the roll to 30% scale as you did with the chest. Also bring down the weight shift to about 60%. Feel free to experiment with these values. The arms are obviously spread out too far. Select the arms offset rot and adjust its Y value to about 40. This makes it look more natural. The feet also seem a bit far apart. Go to Legs, Foot Platform, and adjust the offset pause in Z to about minus 15. If you want to slow down the walk or speed it up, this can be done at the globals level. The speed is controlled by the maximum step time value. The default is 25. Set this value to 50 to slow down the walk to half speed. Now the character is walking more cautiously. Take a look at the limb phases option in this dialog. These control the frequency of the animation for the various limbs. In this case, the first two sliders are for the legs and the last two are for the arms. Notice how they are alternating so that the character retains balance. If you set both legs to use the same value, the character would be hopping. Or you can adjust the sliders to induce a limp. You can do the same thing with the arms for a variety of effects. Finally, select the cap motion presets entry at the top of the dialog. Notice the layer pane. This is in addition to the cat animation layers in the motion panel, sort of a layer within layer kind of a thing. Here you can rename a cat motion layer and save it to disk among other things. You can also add more cat motion layers and blend between them. In the available presets pane, double click two legs and then double click the game character run entry. A dialog appears suggesting to load the run into a new layer. That's the option you want to use if you do not want to override the work you've already done with the walk. Much like with cat animation absolute layers, the new cat motion layer overrides the one before it. If you play with the weights, you can blend between the two layers. Like you did earlier with the walk, this run needs a bit of adjustments as well. You can have fun with it on your own or follow the values given in this movie. Rip gauge offset pause in Y ten. Pelvis offset pause in X minus five point five. Pelvis lift scale seventy. Pelvis twist scale fifty. Pelvis roll scale fifty. Arms offset rot in Y, 30. Arms swing scale, 50. 
arms twist scale zero. Foot platform offset pause in Z minus 20. Legs offset rot in Y 10. Head roll scale 50. Head pitch scale 50. Head offset rot in Z 15. And reduce the speed slightly by setting the global's maximum step time to 25 and the stride length to 400. Next, you blend the motions to make the character walk a few steps, then break into a run, then walk again. Go to frame 0 and enable auto key mode. Set the run layer weight to 0. Go to frame 120. and set the weight back all the way to 100. The weight is now interpolating from a walk at frame 0 to a full run at frame 120. To ensure the character is walking a few steps before he starts running, go to frame 80 and set the weight to 0 again. Now the character is walking from frame 0 to 80 and then blends into a run from 80 to 120. Go to frame 260 and set the weight to 0. Go back to frame 200 and set the weight to 100 again. This ensures a constant run between frames 120 and 200. The character starts with a walk, then gets to run, before walking again towards the end. In the global's parameters, set the character to walk in a line rather than on spot. If you want your character to follow a path rather than move in a line, this is what you need to do. Draw a path, or in this case, use unhide my name motion path. Create a dummy or point helper and constrain it to the path. Make sure the helper is set to follow the path. In the Cat Motion dialog, Global's Parameters, click the Path Node button and select the helper you just created. The character is relocated to the helper. You'll probably need to rotate the helper in local mode so that the character faces the direction of the spline. Footsteps are created that you can reposition to make sure the character is stepping where you need it to. Alternatively, you can set the footsteps to automatically follow an uneven terrain. Right-click in the viewport and choose Unhide All. A terrain appears. At this time, some footsteps are above ground, some others are sunk below. In the Cat Motion dialog, Limb Phases Group, click the Reset button to reset any footsteps you might have moved away. Click the Pick Ground button and then select the terrain in the viewport. The footsteps are now adjusted to the terrain and the character follows the topology of the uneven ground. There's much you can do with the Character Animation Tools plugin. 
We hope this 5 movie set gave you a basic understanding how to use the tools. This concludes this movie set on CAT. We hope you have enjoyed it.